Hey, this is David Fenster. We're here at E3 2012. We're taking a look at Metro Last Light. I'm here with Hugh from 4A Games, Studio 4A Games. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I just took a look at Metro Last Light. I got to say, that is a terrifying experience. Um, seriously, the, there's so many things going on that I'm just um, in awe of. I, I want to talk to you about a lot of the game mechanics, if you don't mind. Sure. So. Um, this time around, we, we showed a level that really does into our survival horror mechanics, and there's a really strong supernatural edge that runs through the metro that, that really builds up that fear and tension. So a lot of the mechanics you saw today, I guess, are classic survival horror. You're constantly scavenging for resources, whether that's ammunition for your gun, filters for your gas mask. You'll see the number of seconds of air you have left to breathe ticking down on your watch. It's like a constant reminder that you need to find a, a new filter before you asphyxiate. We added a whole load of new mechanics, including the, uh, the mask wipe that you saw whereby you can get blood, gore, uh, the remains of spiders spattered across your visor. You have to manually wipe them off so that you can see. So a lot of systems that just pile pressure on the player, make them feel very threatened and vulnerable. Yeah, I, I, and that's the great description of all the things technically, but I gotta say that didn't even do it justice because you're taking a look at, um, you gotta take care of all that thing, all those things all at once, just like you're in the middle of, of battling like crazy demons and you're wiping stuff off your mask and you're running out of air and that clock, that red eerie clock is ticking down. Uh, um, I, my heart was pounding. And then there's this one scene where you, you go inside of an airplane and you're, uh, I guess, either imagining or there's a flashback of what was going on. Yeah. And I, I'm, uh, like, tell me a little bit about that. So there's this, uh, th there's this aura of psychic phenomena that's washing through the, through the metro. It affects everyone. Uh, it can turn a man mad. Artyom, our, our protagonist, is, uh, is unusual in that he has a, a certain resilience to this. He's not unaffected, but uh, he, he's, he, he has some resistance to the effect. So when they stepped into the plane with, it, with his partner, Pavel, they were both having that hopefully very creepy uh, hallucinogenic trip where you could see the skeletons flicker and be replaced with the real people in the plane and the screens of children. They're both experiencing that, and then we went into the, into the full flashback where uh, you get a fairly epic scene. Don't, don't try... Uh, taking a plane flight uh, too soon after watching that because it will like freak you out. Um. Yeah, it actually it did mess with me. I gotta say, like I, I mean, I don't say these kinds of things lightly. I actually shed a tear when I when I watched that plane crash, and that was that was truly t uh, terrifying. Um, so. Uh, uh, amazing, kudos. Um, can I tell you? Uh, can I ask you uh, where you got some uh, the inspiration for this game? Sure. So I think gamers are, are, are used to post-apocalypse as a genre, but they see a lot of this story told with with Western eyes from a Western perspective, and these kind of games seem to draw from a fairly narrow set of cultural reference points. You get a lot of bandits in the desert and bleach bone and, and blue skies. These guys at 4A, they're based out of Kiev in the in the Ukraine. They draw from a very different set of inspiration. Um, you know, a lot of literature, a lot of history, um, the very literal shadow of Chernobyl that kind of hangs over uh, hangs over the Ukraine. So, it allows them to tell this post-apocalypse story in a in a very different way. And I, I think we bring this kind of very bleak uh, Eastern European and Russian vision to proceedings that gamers haven't already seen before. Absolutely. This is not just another first-person shooter. This is one that tells an epic tale. Um, thanks for talking with me. Um, David Fenster here at E3 2012. This is Hugh. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks a lot. Glad you liked it.